Hi everyone, welcome back to the second part of the Prince Edward Island state. So in this state we have total 8 quizzes and we have covered already first 4 quizzes in the first part of this video which can be found in the description and in this video we are going to cover the next 4 parts from quiz number 5 to quiz number 8. So let's get started. So from here I'm going to click on traffic rules quiz number 5. Welcome to your Prince Edward Island learners test rule number 5. So I'm going to click on the start. Here we go. The first question is what you cannot see in your vehicle rear and side view mirrors is said to be in yours. The right answer is blind spot. So let's click on the third option. Yeah. Next, which of the following has the right of way over all others at an intersection when the light is green? The right answer of second question is pedestrians crossing with the light. So I'm going to click on the third option. This is the correct one. And next, a flashing yellow beacon above an intersection. The right answer is warns you to drive with caution. So I'm going to click on the third option. Yeah, next. If a traffic signal changes while a pedestrian is still on the street, which of the following has the right of way? The right answer is pedestrian. So I selected the first one. This is the right one and next. A red signal light with a green arrow is shown at an intersection indicates. The right answer is proceed with caution in the direction of arrow. So let's click on the second option. This is the correct one and we will move to the sixth question of quiz number five. The driver of a motor vehicle is not permitted to carry in a house or boat trailer. The right answer is persons. Yeah. Next, a flashing green light at the intersection where it turns to the left and right are permitted indicates. So you can choose three answers from this question. The first right option is A, which is you may proceed straight through if the way is clear. The B is also right. You may turn to the left if the way is clear. And the D is also the right one. You may turn to the right if the way is clear. So you can choose any one of them from A, B and D. So I'm going to select the last one. Yeah. Next, when entering a freeway, you should the right answer is signal and increase your speed to more smoothly with traffic. So I'm going to click on the last option. Correct. Next. Under all conditions, you should drive at a speed that will allow you to. The right answer is stop within a safe distance. So let's click on the last option. This should be the right one. Yeah, right. Next. Most skids are the result of driver error. Skids may occur when you. So you can choose three answers from this question. The first right option is A, which is drive too slow. B is right also, brake too hard and the third one is also right, accelerate too far. So you can choose one of them from A, B and C. So I'm going to click on the C. Okay, this is the right one and next. When on street designed for two-way traffic, if you hear the siren of an emergency vehicle, what does the law require you to do? The right answer is pull to the right as far as possible and stop. So I'm going to click on the last option. Correct. Next. When the traffic signal light facing you in red and you intend to go straight through the intersection, what must you do first? The right answer is stop, wait until the light changes to green and the intersection is clear before moving through it. So I'm going to click on the last option. Yeah. Next. The third last question is upon approaching a stop sign, what does the law require you to do before entering an intersection? The right answer is stop and when it is safe to do so, proceed. So let's click on the first option. Right. Next. If your vehicle becomes disabled on a highway, you should. The right answer is pull over, enable your emergency flashers and wait for help. So I'm going to click on the last option. Correct. Next. On a roadway where traffic is moving in both directions, in what position must you be before making a left turn? The right answer is immediately to the right of the center line of the roadway. So looking like the first one is the right one. Yeah, this is the correct one. And this is the end of quiz number five. Hi, everyone. I welcome you on one of the best platform in which you are going to practice driving tests for different Canadian states. And before starting the video, I would like to mention that don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and press the bell icon so that you will be notified for our upcoming videos. Thank you so much. Congratulations on completing your first five quizzes. And now we are going to move to the sixth one, which is traffic rule quiz number six. Welcome to your Prince Edward Island learners test rule number six. So let's get started. The first question is if a tire blows out, the right answer of first question is take your foot off the gas pedal to slow down and steer the vehicle firmly in the direction you want to go. So looking like the longest one is the right one. Yeah. Next pedestrians have the right of way at both marked and unmarked crosswalks. The right answer is true. Next. When may you lend your driver's license? The right answer is never. Never change lanes without 
the right answer of fourth question is signaling check the rear view mirror and checking blind spots so i'm going to click on the last option correct next when parking facing downhill the right answer is turn your front wheels toward the curb or right shoulder so let's click on the last option yeah next on approaching an intersection where traffic signal light is red and a policeman motion you to go through you should the right answer is obey the policeman's signal and proceed so i'm going to click on the first option this is the correct one and we will move to the next question which is number seven when a right turn against a red signal light is permitted what does the law require you to do before entering the intersection and making a turn the right answer is you may turn right on a red light only after coming to a complete stop and waiting until the way is clear so the right answer of this question is you may turn to the right if the way is clear yeah next the most important part of driving a curve or corner is to the right answer is slow down before you get to it so i'm going to click on the last option yeah next the best way to stop quickly on a wet or icy roadway is to the right answer is break if wheels lock then release pressure until you come to a stop before moving from a parked position the right answer is always signal and check for traffic pulling out only when it is safe to do so so let's click on the first option yeah next a solid line at the left of your lane means the right answer is it is unsafe to pass so i'm going to click on the first option this is the right one and next in what lane of traffic should you drive when you intend to make a right hand turn the right answer of this question is close to the right side of the roadway so i'm going to click on the third option yeah next the third last question is in what position on the roadway must you be before marking a left turn from a one way traffic street the right answer is close to the left side of the roadway so i'm going to click on the second option correct next the second last question is during poor weather conditions such as rain snow smoke and fog use your headlights on the right answer is low beam yeah next the last question of course number 6 is a flashing red beacon above an intersection mean the right answer is you must come to a complete stop move through the intersection only when it is safe to do so so i'm going to click on the third option yeah this is the right one and this is the end of quiz number 6 This is for your kind information that we are also providing PDF files with questions and answers. So if you need these questions and answers in PDF format, feel free to contact on our email mentioned in the description section and we are also active on our social media pages so you can also contact with us there for any type of help. Thank you. Congratulations on completing your first 6 quizzes and now we are going to move to the seventh one. So I'm going to click on traffic tools quiz number 7. Welcome to your Prince Edward Island learners test rule number 7. So let's get started. The first question is when it is safe to do so passing other vehicles on right side. The right answer is is permitted when the street or highway has two or more lanes for traffic in the directions you are traveling. So let's click on the first option. This is the correct one and next. Unless you want to turn left or pass another vehicle you should the right answer is keep to the right of the road or in the right hand lane on multi lane roads. So I'm going to click on the last option this is the correct one and next what must a driver do before entering a highway from a private road or driveway the right answer is yield right of way to all vehicles approaching on the highway so I'm going to click on the last option again this is the correct one the number fourth question is it is more dangerous to drive at the maximum speed limit at night than during daytime because the right answer is you cannot see as far ahead even with headlights so I'm going to click on the first option yeah Next, when you approach an intersection on a main road and the intersection is blocked with traffic, you should the right answer is stop before entering the intersection and wait until traffic ahead moves on. So let's click on the first option. Next, what should you do when a car is stopped at a marked crosswalk to allow a pedestrian to cross? The right answer is do not pass any vehicle within 30 meters of a pedestrian crossover. So let's click on the third option. Next, when deciding to make a U-turn, your first consideration should be to check. The right answer is traffic regulations. So I'm going to click on the second option. This is the correct one. And now we are going to move to the eighth question of quiz number seven. The hand and arm signal for slowing or stopping is indicated by. The right answer is arm out and down. So let's click on the last option. Next, the safest place in a car to position any infant or child restraint system in the. The right answer is. center of the back seat so i'm going to click on the third option which is the center of the back seat correct 
Next, if the signal light changes from green to amber as you approach an intersection, what should you do? The right answer is stop. If stop cannot be made safely, proceed with caution. So let's click on the last option. Correct. Next, a broken line at the left of your lane means the right answer is you may pass if the way is clear. So let's click on the second option this is the correct one. And now we are going to move to the 12th question of quiz number seven. You should use low beam headlights when driving a vehicle at night when the right answer is meeting or following another vehicle. So I'm going to click on the third option. Correct. And next hydro planning can cause your vehicle to skid. The term hydroplaning means the right answer is your tires ride on top of the water like water skis. So I'm going to click on the first option. Correct. And next. If two vehicles arrive at an uncontrolled intersection at approximately the same time, the right of way should be given to the right answer is vehicle approaching from the right. So I'm going to click on the second option. Next. The last question of quiz number seven is upon approaching a yield sign. What does the law require you to do? The right answer is slow down, stop if necessary and go only when the way is clear. So I'm going to click on the second option. This is the correct one and this is the end of quiz number seven. One thing I would like to mention here that this is super important instead of just watching a video. Practice these quizzes yourself on CanadianPracticeTest.com. To be honest, we built this website specially to educate our viewers and make this test easy for our audience. Thank you. Congratulations on completing your first seven quizzes and this is the last quiz of Prince Edward Island State. So I'm going to click on the eighth one which is traffic rules quiz number eight. Welcome to your Prince Edward Island learners test rule number eight. So let's get started. The first question of quiz number eight is when it is safe to do so passing other vehicles on right side. The right answer is is permitted when the street or highway has two or more lanes for traffic in the direction you are traveling. So I'm going to click on the first option. Yeah. Next, wearing a seat belt in a Kulayan can, the right answer is decrease your chance of being injured or killed. So I'm going to click on the last option. Next, what should you do when exiting a freeway? The right answer is signal, move into the deceleration lane, reduce speed gradually and obey exit signs. So let's click on the second option and next. The fourth question of last quiz is what should you do if you feel drowsy while driving? The right answer is stop for a short rest in a safe area. So I'm going to click on the third option. Yeah. Next vehicles equipped with ABS should provide controlled braking on slippery surfaces automatically. The right answer is true. So I'm going to click on the true and next. When a police officer signals used to pull over, the right answer is you must pull over as far to the right as you safely can and come to the complete stop. So I'm going to click on the first option which should be the right one. Yeah, this is the correct one and next. The seventh question is. If a front tire goes flat, your vehicle will pull strongly to the, the right answer is side that has the flat tire. So I'm going to click on the third option. Correct. And next. What is the safest action to take when your vehicle drives over black ice? The right answer is calmly remove your foot or the accelerator and steer in the direction you want to go. So I'm going to click on the last option. Next. Coming to a complete stop at an intersection is required, but where? Do you stop if there is no stop line, crosswalk or sidewalk? So the right answer is stop at the edge of the intersection. So I'm going to click on the third option. Yeah. Next. What is meant by overdriving your headlights? The right answer is you go so fast that your stopping distance is farther than you can see with your headlights. So I'm going to click on the last option. This is the correct one. And next. Why must you use signals when turning? So you can choose three answers from this question. The first right option is A, which is to notify the other drivers of your intention. The C is right to send out an alert of your intentions and the last option is also right to advise pedestrian of what you want to do. So I'm going to click on the last option. Yeah. Next. The accessible parking permit. The right answer is issued to an individual entitles the vehicle in which it is displayed to be parked in a designated disabled parking space. So let's click on the first option is the correct one and next. The third last question of last quiz is if there are continuity lines to the right of your vehicle in the lane you are in, what must you do? The right answer is you are not required to do anything unless you want to exit. Your lane is unaffected. So I'm going to click on the first option. Yeah. Next winter traction is affected by slippery conditions in winter drivers should drive. The right answer is slower. Yeah. Next, what should you do if you become stranded in snow? The right answer of last question is run your vehicle engine for approximately five minutes every hour to avoid effects of carbon monoxide. So I'm going to click on the first option. Yeah, this is the correct one. And this is the end of quiz number eight. 
which was the last quiz of Prince Edward Island. So thank you so much guys for watching the video.